Hello Pisces, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of April, sorry, March 18th through the 21st, 2019. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid by Lucy Cavendish and I'm closing off with my um, Spirit Song Tarot. Oh, I don't remember who that is by. Let's see. Pauline Cassidy, okay? Um, let's get this shit on the road. <laughs> All right. What's going on with the Pisces? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so this card could mean a lot of things. It could mean somebody is, um, I don't want to say anything yet. We're just going to wait till we get another card, okay? Okay, so I do feel like somebody is feeling like some kind of renewal of a relationship or a situation. Um, and I feel like it's because... I feel like more of a, a, a connection is, is being had here, okay? I feel like somebody is very emotional to what's going on, okay? I feel like somebody is doing something that they don't usually do, which is give presents or give time or actually listen to um, to you or you to them. It can go both ways. All right, so it seems like some secrets are getting ready to come out. So I do feel like somebody are, is getting ready to um, let out how they feel, why they feel like they feel. So I do feel like some kind of exchange of emotions is getting ready to happen here. Okay. Uh-oh. Cut it out. What's going on with this moon card? What is this moon card about? Oh, gosh. They're getting ready to go off. Okay, yes, yeah, so I feel like somebody's getting ready to tell somebody how much they care about them, okay? So I'm feeling two things here. I feel like this could be some kind of of a childhood thing or somebody's getting ready to tell their child's parent that they still care about them, okay? So, sorry. One second. Sorry. Um, yeah, so somebody's getting ready to tell their child's parent that they care about them or somebody from a childhood or just somebody that they've been with for a long time and they care about them. I feel like somebody's getting ready to express those feelings, okay? Ooh, we're going to see what that is. Let me pull another card first. Okay, so already the feelings that I'm getting, I'm, I'm feeling like somebody is very... I feel like sort of scared but excited at the same time. I do feel emotionally exhausted. You know, I feel like I want to hurry up and get it out. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay, so I do, do feel like there's no gifts being exchanged here. So I honestly feel like somebody's having some kind of emotional exchange. Okay, but... It's like, I don't need gifts. I don't need things. I just want to know how you feel kind of thing. So somebody is very deep into their emotions right now. Oh, man, this feeling is out of control. It's like some teenage stuff right here. <laughs> I feel like I'm a, I'm a kid. I feel like... Uh, and the first time that your crush, your crush say you want, they want to talk to you too, that's the feeling that I'm getting from these cards, okay? Okay, so I feel like one of you guys, guys may be in a relationship. But I feel like, or were in a relationship, and now you're out of that relationship. And I feel like the secrets about how they feel about you is coming out. Or somebody could have been waiting for you to get out of a relationship so they can tell you, how they really feel, okay? But with this mirror card here, I feel like this has somebody looking at themselves um, after getting out of some kind of relationship. 
I feel like somebody was like, what's wrong with me kind of thing. And then it seems like this person, another person came in and like, is making you feel better about yourself. Like there's nothing wrong with me. The situation I was in just wasn't the right situation. Okay. So it seems like this old person, um, this child's parent is coming back in to make you feel like you're supposed to feel. Okay. And then this freedom card re reverse also says to me, I feel like somebody didn't want to leave this relationship in the first place. And I keep hearing outside, outside, outside. So I do feel like there's some kind of outside influence on why it was over in the first place. I don't feel like you guys wanted this to happen. I feel like it was too many outsiders inside of this. Okay. Yes, outsiders. All right, let me make sure we got room. I didn't move everything around, cleaned everything. So I can move this thing around correctly, but let's see. All right, so we got the sirens reversed here. So like I was saying, there was a whole lot of negative stuff. Somebody just saying all kinds of things to help you leave this relationship, okay? So somebody didn't want this to happen. I feel like a few people did not want this to happen. Let's see one card for this siren. Mm. All right. Yes, yeah, so jealousy here. Somebody jealous. Somebody didn't want you to have a nice future. So it seems like somebody came in, was saying everything that they, like everything that could be wrong in a situation. It don't matter if it was like 99% good. They'd take that 1% bad and then they'll just like run it all over the place until you, you gave in. Okay. So this could be the person you're dealing with too. Um, it could have been family members, friends. Okay. Look at that. Negative family members and friends broke y'all up in the first place. All right. So it seems like this second time around, you guys still have a connection. You still want to be together. You got to drop the friends, drop the friends. Drop the family, okay? Um, I always say this to everybody I know. I love my family. I love my friends. But you can't have kids with your family and friends. You're not supposed to, but no, okay? So it's like the person that you want to be with, as long as they're not being bad to you um, in a way where you feel like it's bad before somebody tells you, okay? Then the friends shouldn't be around. It's like a misery loves company situation here. All right, so let's see what's going on with the Pisces. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. All right, so we got the sun card reversed. So this makes me feel like things are going to be happy. Things are going to be good, uh, but just not as, as good as you are expecting it to be. Okay, so of course, when you get back into a relationship, everything is like butterflies and candy canes, you know. Um, but of course, everybody has issues. Everybody has problems, okay. But it's just like you got to keep these people away because they're going to make things worse than what they are. Okay. All right, so we got the shaman here. Uh, this is like the, I believe this is like the... Uh, Hmm. <laughs> orphan. Okay, so it's reversed here. So it seems like there was some broken engagements, um, broken contracts here. All right, so we got the page of acorns. All right, so I feel like some kind of message was sent to you, or somebody could have broke a contract over messages. Mm. All right, so we got the five of acorns here. All right. So this is sort of making me feel like somebody might have broke up over text message or over social media. Like somebody just changed they, like what they are. And that was like the breakup. Or somebody sent the message like, hey, this is it. Okay, and it seems like somebody just didn't want to fight, and I feel like 
It's because these people, somebody had their mindset on what they had to do, what was going on. And then they just sent the message like, hey, I'm done. Okay. But they only sent the message because they couldn't do this in front of you because it's not really what they wanted to do. Okay. Or the other way around. Shaman. Let's see what this is. All right, so we got the page of feathers reversed, okay? So it seems like even though this contract was broken, engagement was broken, somebody was still watching the person that they loved, okay? So I feel like the person who cut the everything off, they were the person who is, like, looking around, trying to see what's going on, you know? This is, like, riding up and down the street. Somebody is doing some hardcore um, I'm going to call it investigating, trying to see what's going on. Did this person really want to be with me? Did this person really love me? Okay, so it's like somebody definitely left a situation that they really didn't want to leave. Page of Acorns. One card, please. So we got the Ace of Feathers. Okay, so this is sad. The Ace of Feathers is like somebody was waiting when they were stalking this person after they broke the relationship to see this person doing all this negative, nasty stuff that these people were telling them. No victory. Did not see this person doing anything weeks for weeks or possibly even months. Okay? So it seems like these people definitely tricked you or um, your partner to leave the situation. Uh... The person who left the situation started stalking, looking for all this information these people were going off of. None of it. None of it was true. All right. Let's see what this five of acorns reverse one card, please, for the Pisces. All right. So we got the queen of acorns reverse. All right. So it seems like somebody cut the feelings off to the whole situation it's just like i'm not really ready to fight anymore but i feel like this after they realized that the things that they were hearing all these messages that were coming in they were fake and then i just feel like somebody just felt lost like somebody just sucked the energy right out of you when you found out from watching this person that none of, nothing these people were saying was true. It was just they wanted to break up whatever situation you had. Five of acorns reversed. You didn't even argue about the situation. And this makes me feel like with this queen of acorns too. I feel like when you found out this wasn't uh, the truth. What they were saying. You didn't even want to argue with them either. Okay. I feel like somebody just went cold. Somebody just went cold. But then I do feel like a message is getting ready to come back from this ex that you care about. All right? So I feel like that's where my good and happy feelings are coming from. Okay? So we got the nine of feathers reversed here. So it does seem like somebody's getting, I mean, this ex is getting ready to come back in. Um, I feel like once you get this message, I feel like you're going to feel amazing. You're going to come out of a time of... Um, anxiety and sleepless nights you know um worry you're gonna come out of all this when this person send you this message back because they care about you just like you care about them all right but that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs thanks for watching